Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, you guys finally get to meet my puppies! Okay guys, puppy number one is named Nala, and we got her about three months ago. Alright guys, let's go find Nala, and you guys will get to see her for the first time! Alrighty guys, here is Nala! Oh, she looks really sad right now, but she's a husky. She's only two and a half years old, and she is such a crazy puppy sometimes. Like, she runs all over the place, and yeah, this is Nala. Okay, guys, so puppy number two is named Memphis. She was a stray, and then she went to an animal shelter, and that's where we got her. So we got Memphis about a month ago, and we thought it would be good to have another puppy for Nala to play with. Memphis is three years old, so she's a year and a half older than Nala, which is good because she's been kind of training Nala a bit by telling her what she should probably not do. I'm saying telling by barking at her for biting us and everything. So Nala has definitely gotten way better at biting and everything because of Memphis. And here is Memphis. Memphis, are you going to be camera shy? And then Nala walked right into the frame. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Nala. <sighs> Leave Memphis alone. I'm trying to vlog. Yes, the people told us that she's like a husky, but I think she's a... Husky and German Shepherd mix because by the way, she looks a bit different than Nala. Here they are side by side, best of friends, best sisters, BFFs, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, they're being so good right now. Usually they're like flying around the living room. Not literally flying, but I mean, you get what I mean. Now you guys get to see their playing side. They like to bite each other, but they're just playing, so oh, they're hiding behind the couch. Nala, man. Oh, geez, there they go. Memphis, are you tired? Yeah. So Memphis has a blue collar, like a light blue collar, and Nala has a red one. Nala's like really big right now. You can't even see the red. There it is. Nala's really big right now because it's winter almost, and she's like getting her winter coat. So she's really fluffy, which is okay because fluffy dogs are awesome. Right, Nala? Right? Yeah. Aw, Memphis is tired. Good girl. Oh, stay, stay. You want to be your friend? Stay. No, I got this. It's so hard to get teeth out of me. Okay, here we go. There's one for you and one for you. Good girls. Yeah, you're such good girls. I'm so proud of you. So these are their leashes. Nala is the red one because she has the red collar and Memphis is the blue one. We couldn't find the exact color of her collar, so I guess we went with the blue theme. Nala, do you need to go outside? Yeah, outside? All right, you can go outside. Go on, go Memphis. Ugh, this door is hard to shut. Okay guys, so when us kids have to go to school and the parents have to go to work, we put the dogs in here. We made like a makeshift playpen for them and so that way they aren't roaming around the house chewing everything up since they're still just puppies. And uh, Memphis, I'm gonna have to tell you guys a story time about Memphis. So we have to put her in the kennel for specific reasons, which I'll tell you in a minute. But yeah, this is where their water is and they have this pillow over here. Uh, this is Nala's Chewy. As you can see, she totally destroyed it, but that's fine because that's what you're supposed to do with this because there's ropes in the inside. They have a bunch of bones, so they're all set. This is where we keep their food and food dishes. They each have their own food dish, but we just keep it in this container and dish it out. We give them like um, a cup of food um, and we give that to them three times in a day. Alrighty guys, time for a story time. I'm gonna be telling you guys the story of why we keep Memphis in the kennel when we go to school and her parents go to work. So guys, you wouldn't think by looking at Memphis that she's an escape artist. She's a Houdini. I'm not even joking. 
Okay, so the first night when we got her, we brought her here, everything's fine, she warmed up to us, the cats were fine with her. We didn't have the playpen yet, so we let them roam around at night and like sleep in my bedroom, they could sleep in Derek's if they wanted, but yeah, um, that night, Memphis got into the trash can. I think I woke up at like 5.30 to go to the bathroom and I came into the living room and I saw like a can of cat food. And I'm like, why is that on the living room floor? So I ventured into the kitchen more and I'm like, so guys, I'm gonna insert a picture of what I found on the floor that night. The trash can was tipped over and everything was on the floor. They even carried bits of trash onto the couches and all over the living room. So that was an interesting night to say the least. All right guys, I'll continue my story in a bit. I have to bring the puppies back in from being outside. So that way they don't freeze. It's kind of cold outside. So there's Memphis. Come on, Nola. Good girl. So the puppy's back inside now. There's Memphis and Nola. Big yawn. Yeah, good girls. This is Nola's favorite spot, by the way. She loves sitting here. <laughs> Maybe because it's close to the food. I don't know. So guys, the trash spectacle happened the first night we got Memphis, which was on a Friday night. And then Saturday, everyone was home. So we were able to keep the dogs out. No one had to work or go to school because it was a Saturday. But then guys, Saturday night. Yeah. Um, this is where it got a little crazy. So we let them roam around again, but we made sure we put the trash can on top of the counter so that way they wouldn't get into it. But Memphis didn't care about the trash. This time she went for something else. Since it was October, we had an orange pumpkin, a plastic pumpkin that was full of candy, like chocolate candy, Kit Kats, Reese's, all that jazz. Memphis decided that she wanted chocolate that night. So she jumped up onto the table we used to have a dining room table back there where the playpen is now. Memphis jumped up onto the table and ate almost the whole bowl of chocolate. She only left like five pieces. So she got a little bit sick, but not too bad. She's still living. Um, there's proof because of she's living in this video and this happened the second night we got her, but she got a little bit of sick and that's, I mean, that would happen if you eat almost a whole bowl of chocolate in one sitting. So then that Sunday, we decided to get the playpen. And um, Danny went to the store and got this playpen for them to stay in at night. So that way they couldn't get out and wreak havoc on our house. But guys, here's the funny part. Memphis was smarter than Nala and escaped. I'm pretty sure she jumped the gate because... um. I don't really know how else she could have gotten out. And yeah, she jumped the gate and got out of the playpen. So guys, moral of the story, we have to put her in the kennel now at night so that way she doesn't escape the playpen and wreak havoc on her house. <sighs> and because of her escape antics, she escaped the kennel. We were at school, my parents were at work, she was in the kennel. We had this strawberry shortcake like comforter inside with her so that way she can sleep on it. She stuffed it through the bars and she bent them back just enough so that way she could get out. We fixed the kennel and so far she hasn't tried to get out again, but dang, she is a smart puppy. She also really likes cupcakes, as we can tell, because she ate like 10 of them. Yeah, so it was my mom's birthday. Oh wait, no, it was Danny's birthday. Sorry, there's a bunch of October birthdays. It gets kind of fumble in my mind. Okay, so it was Danny's birthday and my mom made cupcakes for him. She put them on the stove and uh, yeah, Memphis got to them. They were frosted and she kind of knocked them over or I don't know if she knocked them over or if she jumped up on the counter and ate them, but she ate about half of them at least. Naughty, actually she ate the whole pan because we mom made two pans of cupcakes and I think she ate one of the pans. Yesterday was Halloween, October 31st, and it was my brother's birthday. Yes, a Halloween birthday, good for him. Anyways, so my mom made cupcakes again for Derek's birthday and uh, 
we were all outside um, handing out candy to trick or treaters, sitting by the fire. And none of us were inside with the puppies, which was definitely our first mistake because we let them roam around the house and Memphis got to Derek's cupcakes. Derek came inside to grab his phone to take pictures and everything and he noticed that Memphis was on the counter. She literally jumped up on the counter using the stool that I'm sitting in and she ate six of the cupcakes from the pan. So she got a bit sick again, but I mean, this is why we can't have nice things. Hey guys, editing Rachel here. Um, I forgot to mention that she also ate the cupcake liners and she ate a few of the candles. We still had another whole pan of cupcakes left and like the other six in the other pan that she didn't eat. So that was all fine. But uh, we need to make sure that we keep our food towards the middle of the island or like keep it towards the end of the wall. So that way she can't jump up and snag it from like if we just have it like on the edge of the counter, she can snag it and jump up and just grab it. And yeah, that's happened multiple times, guys. I had my bowl of soup on the edge of the counter and she literally knocked it off and started licking it on the floor. And I'm just like, thank you, because that was all the soup we had left. And I was so upset because I wanted soup. That was like a whole crazy story about Memphis. I mean, Nala hasn't really done too much to destroy the house or anything. She doesn't try to jump up on the counters to get food, but she does chase the cats once in a while, which I mean, if I was a puppy, I'd want to chase a cat too. <laughs> I'm just saying guys. After not even 30 seconds, Nala has her whole bowl of food gone. Good girl. Go get something to drink now. Yeah, go get something to drink. You gotta be thirsty. I wish I could give you more, but that was your cup of food for the second time today. Good girl, Memphis. Good girls. Good girl, Memphis. You got an ice cube? Let's go outside. You like it out here, don't you? Oh, okay, that's a squirrel. You can't get it though. It's on the other side. Oh my gosh, there's two squirrels over there on that tree. Oh my gosh, Nala. You can't get the squirrel. What's up, Memphis? Where are you hiding from? Are you camera shy? 
Yeah, you camera shy. <laughs> Why won't you look up? Nala, hello. She really misses my mom right now. Are you gonna? Oh, jeez. Are you guys gonna play now? Yeah. Okay, they're gonna play now. So guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, I really love my puppies. I'm so glad we got them. They're just a bit crazy sometimes, but that's because they're still just puppies. And yeah, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye!